Uh, what's good? It's your boys, We Make Best. We're here with Bake. Hey, yo. Tog. Crikey! And me, Bnet. That's enough of that. Sorry. All right, so we got Dash here. Why don't you tell us about the, uh, the core? Right, so the core of the deck is a boost deck, right? So we're looking to boost with our normal cards like T-Bone, 0-60, to 60, Throttle, Zipper Hit. Also got High Speed Impact and Combustible, combustible Courier. Your main go-tos are 0-60, to 60, Zipper Hit and Throttle. They're just efficient for their mana cost. And that allows us to gain go again and present wide combat chains. What are your payoffs for this deck? Right, so basically the payoffs for like boosting so many times are mainly Overload, Overblast, sorry, uh, and High Octane. High Octane, if you boost twice, you can net action points. And then for the resources you have left, you can fire the pistol. So it ends up... If you have a blue, you can end up dealing six damage with the pistol. Um, we also play Meganetic Shockwave as a blue. That's a, quite a high value blue because it actually like gets them to block with their equipment. Because uh, they block X equal to the amount of times you boosted. Uh, payload gains Dominate, makes it awkward to block if, if you've boosted this turn. And probably the best card, Spark of Genius, is you can search for an item with it. If it's boosted, you get to draw. If you play that at the end of the chain, you draw to set up your arsenal. And you can set up a Teclo Core in play. In the aggro matchups, it serves as like... A resource production so you don't you can block with your blues and you can still have a functional turn so, uh, look mate just a question from steve Irwin here aka tall timmy <laughs> no st take that back <laughs> look mate small timmy here uh, just wanted to question you i see you've only got two uh teclo pounders along with two teclo cores why not run in the full three of both all right the main reason we don't run the full three of both is because these cards don't block and you can get into situations where if you're pitching it and not actually blocking with it, they're actually the only card left in your deck or one of the few cards left in your deck. And then in that situation, you won't be able to block in the end game. So it's actually quite punishing. You can pitch to shuffle them back in for your spark as well, though. That's yep. the thing. That's relevant. Mm. Well, mate, thanks for answering that question. Just another question for you. What types of equipments have you been running? I see you got a lot up the top there. Why don't you just run me through that real quick? Just looking to make dash for my armory game tomorrow on Friday. All right, so, <laughs> all right, so our main equipments are Crown of Providence. It's just a value equipment. You can arsenal any card and you just block and get rid of it and get a fresh card. Uh, it's also good when you when you do cast Spark and you draw a blue, you just arsenal and you can you know replace it. Teclo Foundry Heart's probably one of the best cards in the deck. Blocks for three total and nets you a resource every turn. Uh, in the matchups where you're boosting. Goliath Gauntlet, the best gloves we can get. We need some new swagged out mechanologist gloves, but we don't have them yet. Uh, these ones just give plus two to your cut, like your cards like Overblast, Payload, so what, Throttles and stuff like that. When's the best time to use the, the gloves? Basically, you want to use them at the start of the chain, first off, instead of midway through, because a lot of your boost cards are if you've boosted this combat chain. So you don't want to play an action, which is what destroying this is, which will break the chain. So you need to play that first. Even if you start the chain after this with T-Bone, it's not going to get the bonus, but it still carries on to your next two or greater attack. So it'll carry on to combustible if you come in with that. And then we've got Achilles Accelerator. Just gains you an action point for when you're boosting. So sometimes you can use this to drop two items. So you come in with a boosted T-Bone, and then you pitched for a... Teclo Pounder, you can crack that, gain an action point, and drop a Teclo Core or a Spark of Genius. And uh, it's also AB1, so pretty helpful. Then you got the pistol, it's just the best weapon because it's one mana to attack for two. And when you're gaining action points off of high octane, you can pistol multiple times each turn. And you can uh, set it up, putting a steam counter up for the next turn if you Yeah. as well. So turn like if you're going first, one of the plays is to you know play an item or a spark and then just load the pistol and pass, setting it up for next turn. And then this is our only one sideboard equipment, Visiotronic. Uh, it's just for AB2 against, you know, Kano and Icelander. Boo, stuff like that. Boo, boo, AB, boo. Boo, Kano. Got the pistol plan and then the, the aggro plan. Talk about the pistol plan. Right, so for the pistol plan, we swap out into these items here, Plasma Purifier and Induction Chamber. We start in play with Induction Chamber to give our pistol go again. This lets us attack multiple times against decks like Guardians and stuff where... If we went on our normal boost plan, we'd get fatigued. So when we swap out the boost cards, there's like 11 that we want to actually get out of our deck because they only benefit when we actually boost. So we bring in five items and six defense reacts. And then in some other matchups like Bravo and Dorinthia, we bring in the extra two unmovables and we just take out two more of those boost reliant cards. 
All right, so when we swap into the pistol control version, we swap out our starting items, Teclo Pounder for our induction chamber. This is the best one to start with because we get go again on our pistol and it allows us to swing multiple times into matchups like Guardians and things. Uh, we make sure we take out Combustible Courier, Overblast, and Payload because they all get benefits off of boosting. And in these matchups, we're not trying to boost because we're bringing in non-mechanologist cards and we also don't want to get fatigued. So that's our main swap. When we play against Bravo, we also bring two unmovables. They're also good against Dorinthia, and I'd probably bring them in against any brute matchups I play against. And we just take out the second and third high speed impacts to replace them. Look, mate, back where I'm from, the Aussie land, we have a little game that we like to call Hot Seat. You mind uh, participating in this game with us, Liam Bennett? Yeah, sure. All right, well, the rules of the game we got me and Blake here, we're gonna hot spit a couple of our heroes off the top of our heads, yeah? And then you're going to answer us whether you're going to run the pistol setup or the boost setup. All right, Steve. Thanks for the info. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Uh, beginning of the game. Uh, Viscerai. Boost. Prism. Pistol. Kano. Boost. Old him. Pistol. Drone might. Pistol. Briar. <laughs> <laughs> boost. <laughs> Fire. Boost. Lexi. Pistol. Pistol. The mirror match. Pistol. Duintia. Pistol. Bolton. Bolt? What's Bolton do? Like you saying Bolt. He just Guess. does quick. I guess I'll just boost. I don't know what that hero is, but yeah. Levia. Oh, that's next. Go next. Uh, I'd go pistol against Levia. And I'd bring the unmovables. Katsu. Pistol. Yeah, I'd pistol. Rhino. Who? <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> Rhino, you mean? Raya. Wait, Who? what's his name? Rhino. Did I say that? Yeah. Uh, Rhino. Pistol. Bravo, mate. Pistol. Azalea. Boost. And last but not least, Islander. Boost. Why, why is that? We've got enough blues to fight through the Frostbites if we go boost. Yeah, and then fair. you don't want to like go pistol and let them set up Frost Hex and stuff like that. So, Well done, mate. Well done. Uh, if you guys want to hear more from Steve Irwin, Blake and myself, let us know what decks you want to see or whatever. And uh, we out. <laughs> Later, Bolt. What does an Aussie say? Um, see you later, alligator. <laughs> <laughs>